Hey everybody, this is Michael from All Things Japan and I'm bringing you another night walking video. As you can see, there's not a lot of people running around. Hardly anybody, except that dude on the bicycle. And as we kind of cruise along, there's a few people down at the convenience store um, but, and I think there's one guy that will come up on that's actually just kind of sitting there on the ground. There he goes, kind of falls down on the ground. And, um, yeah, I think he's drinking something. I don't know what it is. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, we'll turn down this one, uh, turn down here on the left. This is kind of like the main drag of Shiambashi. This is where a lot of the bars and restaurants, um, are located. There's a big board on the left there. But um, yeah, this is usually teeming with people. I mean, like absolutely packed with people. And um, as you can see, it's it's pretty much a, uh, a graveyard right now, a ghost town, which is why I have a little bit of a scary feel to this because I've never really experienced an entire city that it has almost nobody walking around in it but hey this is these are different times so um, there are going to be some bizarre things now I will say there are some bars here that are kind of open um, I think maybe there's like one or two uh, bars down here where they have just decided that they were going to defy any common sense. Um, and I think I saw a shadow appear. I saw a shadow right up there. I apologize for the echo. Um, I'm doing this on my MacBook Pro in my hotel room. When I get back to Tokyo, I'll have my microphone. But as you can see, there are people uh, that are in some of these places. And I believe here there's probably a lot of hooting and hollering going on in this club um, or restaurant or bar, whatever it may be. And they don't seem to care. Nothing is going to stop them. I'm having a good time tonight. One thing Nagasaki is famous for, it's cats. They're everywhere. Just like this guy. And they seem to be coming out a lot more um, as places are shut down and there's less people. I see more cats. Here's a gentleman out at night and seems to be lost. I have no idea what he's looking for. I'm not even sure if he knows. There's an eerie feeling when you walk around an area in the dark and it's deserted. It seems like there's a lot of eyes on you, watching you.
Another thing Nagasaki is famous for is stairs. Long, dark stairwells. Pretty creepy. This area is a little bit off the beaten path and I love this area because it has a lot of little nooks and crannies and there's a lot of little snack pubs and girls bars and girls bars are where you go in and sit down and, and uh, you know for a price per hour you can talk to a girl she pours you drinks um, and then you know you're out of there. Typically, this is just packed, packed with people. And places like this are just roaring with laughter, like you heard in that other bar. I've been down this area a couple of times. I think when the corona virus all clear is given, I'm going to actually visit this place, Legend. I've been here many times. I've taken lots of photos in this area. Just never been in that bar. Well, we're coming to the end of the party district. This is a really interesting restaurant here that just opened. It's a standing bar, um, and they have different types of food, snacks, and, uh, and of course, alcohol. Uh, but one of the things in here that is, I think, a specialty is the karage, which is a Japanese-style fried chicken. It's very delicious. It's not very good for you, though. Well, I should make a disclaimer before the Japan Karage Association comes after me for slandering their fried chicken. Um, if you're on a diet, then yes, I would say greasy fried chicken is not something that you would want to put on your daily intake. But it is good once in a while. It's absolutely delicious.
this is another one of my favorite little areas. Uh, they have a lot of really good bars and shops down in this area. So we'll be heading into the Hamamachi uh, Shopping Arcade, which is really just a big long street with lots of shops. It's covered and typically this place is also extremely packed. I've been coming to this place for about 10 to 12 years and it's never changed. I happened to notice a gentleman that was walking really slow behind me, kind of in a keeping pace with me. And I stopped and I told him to go ahead and, you know, move around me, I'm sorry. And he said no, he didn't want me to film him. And I said okay. So I had to stop and uh, let him get a ways up ahead of me so that um, you know I wouldn't get him in the shot respect his wishes now if there's one thing you can count on in Nagasaki to be open 24 hours a day it is McDonald's McDonald's has shut down their upstairs dining area but you can still get takeout 24 hours a day When I retire, 
there's one job I think I would like to have. And I'd probably do it for very little money and enjoy the hell out of it. And it's this dude right here. He's riding around in this little cleaning thingy, zooming up and down all over the arcade. I tried to get him to wave to me, but he was all too professional, too much in control. He gave me the nod, and then I was on my way. But still, I think I would have a blast doing this job. Now I know you may have seen this in other videos, but I love this alleyway. I mean, there's just so much going on in here. There are little nooks and crannies and small little bars and restaurants. And the only access to those places is right here. And as you can kind of see, it just looks like a cluttered, a busy alleyway. Daisy seems to be kicking it up pretty hard. But, yeah, there's just so much stuff in here. And I've never explored it all. I've just basically walked through here and just filmed it or took photos of it. But this is a cool little bar right there with the red door. Um, it only red door only goes up to your waist so you actually have to almost crawl on the ground to get into this place this is another one of those areas where well, there's another cat Another one of those areas that um, just doesn't change. It's not changed for years. That cat is checking me out. Thank you for taking yet another journey with me at night as I walk around the party, entertainment, and shopping areas of Nagasaki. As you can see, it's pretty dead around here. Hopefully, one day soon, uh, people the, the state of emergency will be lifted and people will start coming out. 
and I could probably get a contrast video to that. Uh, but until then, I'm going to still take uh, more videos, preferably night videos, because I do think Nagasaki has a little bit of a spooky quality to it, so it's kind of interesting. And remember, like, share, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you, everybody.